Hello and welcome to this Access Database video tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an Access Database. Now when you load up Access, and we're using Access 2000 here, you're going to get this view that you see on the screen now. Now you can create a new database by either going to this white document here, clicking on that, or going up to File and selecting New Database, or New as it is at the top. So we'll do that now. And Access gives us various templates that we can use if we want to create our database, but we're going to create a complete new one from scratch. So we go into General, select Database, and click OK. Now it's asking us for a name for the database, so I'll just select an area I'm going to put it in. I've just called it Invoice DB for now. We'll click create, create and Access has created us a blank database now to play with. Okay, so this is actually called the database window and it's basically the control center of where everything goes on within Access. So from here we can mani manipulate or create tables, queries, forms, reports, macros, modules. This is just giving us some very quick shortcuts to create a table using the wizard or design view. Um, it's also got the same setup with queries and forms. We can maximize the screen by double clicking this blue bar. Obviously minimize it as well. Up here we've got various commands. So in order to create a table, we just basically create, click this tab table and click new. And it would ask us how we want to create it or what type of table we want to create. In the same way in a, with a query, click query, click new. Form, new. And if we had an existing form in here, we just click design to go into design view. So this is our basic database window and this is how we create databases within Access 2000.